at DockerCon 2017 at the Ingenics booth. Can you tell us a little bit about the company and uh, how you fit into the Docker ecosystem? Yeah, absolutely. So Nginx is the number one web server and reverse proxy for the busiest sites in the world. We now have just under 60% of the top uh, 10,000 busiest sites in the world using Nginx and almost 350 million websites globally. So Nginx has fast become the, the modern web server and reverse proxy for anyone building an application that requires performance, reliability, scale, and security. Uh, we're here at DockerCon because in addition to promoting our Nginx open source product, we also have a commercial product, Nginx Plus, that helps enterprises deliver that same experience for their applications to their customers. We have over now a thousand customers using our commercial offering. Uh, we have 150 uh, staff in the company, many of who you can see are present here at our booth today. What many people may be uh, unaware of is that Nginx is actually the number one downloaded tool for applications on Docker Hub. Nginx is ubiquitous with the containerized platform. Many people using Nginx for uh, front-end web serving but also load balancing throughout the entire application as they're migrating from service-oriented architectures to microservices environments. So Nginx and Docker and containers are, are synonymous with this new uh, application architecture, distributed application architecture. Um, is there a demo that we could take a look at? Absolutely, I've got uh, the demo right here on the screen. Why don't you come across and have a look? Great, so what are we uh, going to take a look at? Uh, this is the Nginx Plus dashboard, um, and this shows the overall health of your Nginx instance. So here, what you see here is one Nginx instance um, from a very uh, high viewpoint. So you can see the, the overall health of your, of your sh upstream servers, as well as the, the current connections and SSL connections that are going on. Um, so I can show you uh, the different uh, server zones. So think of these as your websites. And you can see how much each one of these websites is taking traffic and how many of them are healthy. If I wanted to dig in further to see each individual upstream server, I can do that through the upstream's dashboard. And what we show here is um, the automatic failover um, and health checks that we're doing with Nginx Plus. So right here, we can see that we have three available servers. One of them is a backup server, so this would be um, the, the server that would fail over if all of your servers were to go down. So this would be something like your maintenance page or your Twitter, Twitter update status page right. um, if your, all your servers were to fail. Um, on top of that, you would be able to see the health of each individual server based on the HTTP response. So 200s, 300s, 400s, 500s, and so on. If we wanted to go in further, we can also look at the TCP and UDP zones. And this is similar to the each individual website zone. So you can see um, not only the HTTP zones, but you can see um, the different TCP and UDP zones. So we're showing Redis, DNS, Elasticsearch, and then also MySQL. So you can see the overall health of those as well. And again, you can dig in a little bit further and you can see each individual node. Very cool. Um, and the last thing that we have here is the, the overall cache. So if you have, you know, if you have your cache servers, you would be able to see if they're hot, if they're cold, and then how much data is being served into each one of those. Um, and that's our Nginx Plus dashboard today. Awesome. Thanks for taking the uh, time to speak with VM Blog. Definitely.